Hello everyone and welcome to Inside the Hoop. Welcome back everyone to Inside the Hoop. We hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. You know guys, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, it isn't is. it? It is, yes it <laughs> oh, is. Oh my goodness. Especially here in Cache Valley. Oh yeah. yes. Lots of snow coming our way. Mm -hmm. Cold temperatures. It's about yeah. this time of year when I'm thinking Florida sounds really nice. Right. Yes. It's really or anywhere, Arizona. Yeah. Anywhere sunny and warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you guys busy, busy making, baking, doing all the things for Christmas? Yes. Oh of my course. gosh. Yes. Are you out there doing all kinds of things, crazily getting busy for the holidays? If so, please chime in. We want to hear what you're busy doing right now to get ready for Christmas, the holidays, you name it. Um, there's a whole lot going on and things just keep getting faster and faster. Yes, right? I agree. I <laughs> oh agree. my goodness. So what have you guys been busy doing? Well, I have a little thing called Bunko at my house tonight. <laughs> oh! So I've been getting ready for that and getting the house all decorated. Finding you know, the cute prizes. Yeah. yeah. Did you make your prizes? Um, I did actually did make you? my prizes. Oh yes. my goodness, how fun. Yes. I bet people love when Bunko's at Ginger's mm -hmm. house. I hope they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fun. That's kind of like a holiday party, it right? It very much is like a holiday party. Yeah. Okay, Deanna. It's the gift that keeps on giving, right? right? Yeah. I think I have just been busy. I wanted to get all of my Christmas shopping done early this year. So I think oh. I am just about done with all oh. of the Christmas shopping. That's a We great have feeling. been trying out some new holiday cookies. Oh, we yeah. love to make cookies at our house, so we've and tried out some new recipes. You're welcome to share right. those. You, you know. got to come to my office. Have they show up in my <laughs> office. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we know the secret. Yeah. Now we know where to go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, oh my well, that so sounds much fun, awesome. Yeah, All right. Fun. Well, I've been busy being sick. Yes. <laughs> oh, so I'm glad fun. to be back. We're glad to have both of you back this yes. week. Yes. Yeah, Ginger and I both. We were a little oh. under the weather last mm -hmm. week, but certainly glad to be back. You know, while we're waiting for you, the audience to chime in on what you're busy doing right now because yes. we want to hear from you. I thought it would be fun to talk about Ginger's challenge that we gave you. <laughs> Tell us a little issues. bit about that you a few did. weeks ago. You did give me a challenge. Mm -hmm. So a few weeks ago, I showed the Broomhilda's apothecary jar and how I took it and did a little twist for Christmas. And you guys challenged me to make sure I got the binding on that and then to take photos of it up in my kitchen. So over Thanksgiving break, and while I was out sick, I got that done, and I have photos for you. I brought them. You mean we actually get to see? You get the there it is. Kitchen. Yes, you get to see the Ginger's <laughs> oh Kitchen. Oh my goodness. So, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. That I'm is so a major proud of me accomplishment. Too. <laughs> yeah. So that, is, I hung it there on my pantry door. My pantry door was looking a little sad, so uh -huh. it's hanging there on my pantry door. Yeah. And then. Oh my gosh. And you promised us more. you would send a show us a few other pictures. Oh my yep. So this is my little tear tree that I have on my um, kitchen table and then okay. you can see the fun Christmas pillows back behind it. And cute then, little ginger there. Yep, yeah, cute little ginger. And then this is oh, kind cute. of my sofa table and so I've got my collection of gingerbread houses there and so of cute. course the Lego houses at the top. We do lots of Lego at our house so that's anyway so lots of fun, How fun. fun I stuff love, going oh, on. And then my little cookie ginger. jar which I love. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, she is cute. cute. Know, isn't she a doll? Oh my god. Do you goodness. have some good cookies in there right now? I don't have any cookies in there. Okay, I'll bake you some. Okay, okay. okay. You may have some cookies. So we, we know can get someone who can help a girl now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That is so yeah, fun. Well, thank you for sharing pictures over your kitchen. Yes, yeah, of course. So fun. I know you always decorated, like, you know, gingerbread, mm -hmm. go figure. Yes. But to actually see it now, it's that's fun, so huh? fun. And yeah. I love that design that you did. Of course, that came from an inside the hoop a few weeks mm -hmm. ago. We'll be sure to put the the link to that, to that. Yep. in the notes because if you missed it, oh my gosh, it, she did such a great job. Oh, so so fun. cute. Put little peppermint candies, some mm -hmm. fake peppermint candies. Yep. Yes. And, and some candy canes and did background oh, quilting. Goodness. So it was lots of fun. Oh wow. A lot of so fun. So fun. Okay. So thank, thank you. you for doing yes. that. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks to the challenge. Thanks for challenging me to get yes. it done. Get it. That's what we need. Yes. yes. For sure. So Caitlin, we're going to ask our audience here, what are they busy doing right now? 
Yeah, a lot of people are making the jar toppers. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. yes. We have seen lots of photos of those oh, online. Yeah. They are so cute. Yes, definitely. Okay, jar toppers. Judy specifically is making 20 snowman jar toppers. Oh my, oh goodness. my goodness. Judy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo. That's awesome. Okay, what else? We also have people making teacher gifts for their granddaughters. Oh, yep. so oh, sweet. Kind. Uh, we also had somebody, it's supposed to be 57 where they're at, so they're doing yard work. Ooh, oh my I'm a little jealous. Yeah, too, I think yeah. I would even do yard work today. <laughs> I <laughs> agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> right? And okay. Julie just finished some confetti table toppers. Oh, oh very cute. Yes. Gotta love the confetti mm -hmm. topper. Thanks, Caitlin, yes. for sharing those. Thanks, everyone, oh, for chiming that. in. Yes. We love, love getting to know you better. Now, today, though, yes. we are going to talk about a brand new download at Kimberbell, and it's called the Save the Date Pillows. Oh, my goodness, you guys. These are, these so are so fun. I'm so excited about okay, this product. Okay, let's tell everyone a little bit so, about so these. Yes. About this okay, stuff. so here's how one of them looks. Okay. Yep. And what do we have going on here, guys? So this is our removable panel pillow. This is such a fun idea. So you can there make is, your, there's not. Yep. <laughs> yep. You da -da, can make da -da. your own pillow or you can simplify it and use one of the Kimberbell oh, pillow blades. Even better. <laughs> yes. It's got the zipper in it. You just have to sew up those side seams. It's already quilted. Yep. Yes. It's all quilted. <laughs> Yeah, so fantastic. And this will zipper right here. You just put in your pillow form one yeah. time. One time, Done. and then you use it throughout the whole year. So you yes. just that's find... one of my favorite things about this project. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you just put it in your favorite spot, and then you get to make all of these interchangeable designs to use all year long. Now, it also comes in two different sizes. Yes, oh, yes. yeah, yes. because if you're looking at this and thinking, oh, that looks like I need a big hoop. We got you covered, right? Right. Right? So yeah, there's two different sizes. You get them, of course, in the same download. And you can use, you know, even a smaller five by seven hoop. If you double hoop that, you're gonna be just fine, right? Yeah, and it'll exactly. Be perfect. <clears throat> yeah. So or don't panic. Five by seven, or I should say, or six by ten. All the details are on the website mm -hmm, right. about what hoops you need. But then this one is more, I believe, like an eight by twelve or nine by fourteen. Okay. And um, again, depending on your machine, you could mm -hmm. do it as a single hooping, which I did, yes. and we'll show you that tutorial today. Or you can do double hoopings. So either so way, we have got you yeah. covered. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So fun. And they're mostly, I would say 95% of it is done in the hoop. There is one point where you take it to a sewing machine, but even the buttonholes are done on the embroidery machine. Oh my, which, oh my goodness. I don't Life know about saver. you. But, but I, you know, buttonholes are my do, nemesis. Right? <laughs> my if I have to do a buttonhole, forget about it. Yeah. And four on the same project? Right, right. No way. No. To so, have it done in the hoop is yeah. fantastic. And then you'll also notice we have background quilting designs, and those are on sale right now. Yeah. Oh, let's see if we yeah. turn it just a little there bit. There we go. We you can see a little bit design. about it. So as you know, all the background quilting designs are always optional, but if you want to do background quilting, they're on sale right now's now. Now's the time. Yes. 25%, 25. Yeah. 25 off. Yeah. Twenty five off. There's the bundle. Yeah. Oh my right goodness. Right there. Look how fun. Look at all those are. fun oh my Christmas gosh. designs. Chris, oh, there's well, other Christmas. seasons too. Oh yeah, there's all the seasons because Every that's season. one bundle for, you know, Halloween and St. Patrick's Day. Even Hanukkah is in there and for our friends in Canada, Canada, we've got a Canada design for of, January or July 1st. We yes. thought of everything. Well, we, we try. <laughs> we, <do. laughs> we certainly try. So I thought it would be fun before we go into too much detail about how these are done. Do you guys have a favorite panel? Out of I, the group, you know we do. I, it was it was a hard decision, but you know we always land on something. Yeah, yeah. So go to. ahead and share with us, Deanna. What what's your favorite out of the group? Okay, so mine was the Easter one. So it oh, says, "Happy Happy Easter." <laughs> And again, there's the two sizes. I love these spring colors. Maybe I was drawn to this because it is so gray and dismal out oh, there right now. <laughs> so I was I was probably drawn to this brighter. This I brighter pattern. Spring. Yes. It's really I always sweet. look forward to spring. It is yeah. very sweet. The little bunny. And if you could out. see the background quilting on there, I know I you know, we, good. we have some better images on our website, but yes. the background quilting um, is I so see some darling. some carrots and flowers. Yeah. So, so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. What about you, Ginger? All right. So I chose, oops, 
I'm going to dump it all. Uh, the 4th of July pattern. I think I'm thinking summer too. I'm wanting <laughs> warmer, weather. warmer weather. Yeah, what's going on with you two? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the 4th of July one is so fun. And of course, <sighs> when you see the that? July 1st one for our Canada friends, that yeah. one's adorable too. Yes. But yeah, I just love the fireworks and the, the rockets. The rockets you can and see the, the stars and the... Yeah, you can see all the, you can see the background quilting better on this one. You can kind of see the, looks yeah. like fireworks. Yeah. You name it. So much fun. Okay. My Kim, favorite, what about you? Well, I mentioned this yesterday on What's New Wednesday because I, I certainly do have a favorite. It would be the Halloween one. Oh. Look at that. October 31st. I think that so is cute. so that darling. Mm -hmm. I know. And you know what? Our own Jazzy J at Kimberville is the one that designed all these. And oh. didn't she do a great job? She yes. did. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah, she did yes. a beautiful job. I absolutely love it. I love the fabrics that were chosen for that. I love, I love the, the colors. And then mm -hmm. just, yeah, that simplified silhouette of yes. the tree. So much fun. But we've got a whole lot more. Yes. These are just we our favorites. Yes, for are sure. Are you ready to take a look yes. at the rest of them? Let's go ahead and take a look at that video. Oh my gosh, I love that video. Yeah, so you saw this, uh, a few of those extras mm -hmm. that we threw in there, right? Yes. The Hanukkah and July 1st for our friends in Canada. They're, they are a whole lot of fun. And you guys, I had a chance to, you know, take take it to my own machine this week and make them for myself. I started on the project. So I thought I'd share with you a, a few little video clips on how this was done, and in particular, how the background quilting was done first, and then how I put the design on top of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at part one of how to do save the date pillows. Hello everyone and welcome to my home. You know, if you were to come through my front doors right now, what is the first thing you're gonna see? My bench. And of course that bench usually houses the Kimberbell bench pillows, but in this case, I'm so excited to share with you the new Save the Date pillows from Kimberbell because they're so quick and easy to do. I can interchange them for any season or holiday and they look so darn cute on the bench. Let's take a look. There it is. Oh my goodness. This is the first one I just finished and I could not wait to get it on the bench. As you can see, these interchange, these panels, just with the use of these buttons and the whole thing is done on the embroidery machine. Isn't that so cute? So now I can have one of those for different seasons, different holidays. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to my sewing room so you can see how easy these are to make. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already done the January one as well. Isn't that so cute? With the little party hat and the stars. And then of course the quilting on it is just too cute. It says Happy New Year. I can't wait to just take this one off. Well, I can wait because I want December here all <laughs> as long as possible, right? I'm gonna just unbutton that and then I can place on January 1st. But today I'm ready to do uh, the February pillow design. Let me show you what it looks like. And oh my goodness, isn't that so cute? I can't wait to do it. Do you wanna hear something really cool about this February design? It's free. Yep, you heard that right. You can download the February 14th design for free at Kimberbell.com just so that you can try it out and see what you think. You can do um, you, one of these for every month, every season, uh, but the February 14th one, it's all yours. Check it out when you get a chance.
Oh my gosh, Kim, how fun. Right. And your so house is cute. decorated so cute. Well, you know, tis the season. It <laughs> is, it <laughs> is. You tis outdid yourself. Then. Oh, you did. well, it, it's a whole lot of fun to decorate for sure. And especially this time of year, mm -hmm. you know, having just a little project to do to get a little bit of extra decor in there is always great because it's Absolutely. hard to spend a whole lot of time on things. These save the date pillows fit that Perfect. bill, don't oh, they? Yeah, totally. And as we said in the video, the February 14th uh, design is free. Yeah. You guys free? believe it? Are you yeah. serious? Totally, totally free. Oh my goodness. You yeah. guys, this and you design guys, this is was, too cute. Yeah. This was Let's probably my real favorite. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> I know. She's, we, had we had to pick our favorite, but not I the said 14th. not February 14th. Okay, so we're taking care of uh, December 25th. And look how cute that February 14th design is. And oh. it's free. Oh my goodness. Nice. So it's like our little love no note. No strings oh, attached. One, right? Yes. Oh my goodness. Friends and no Kimber strings Bell attached. To you all of you. You don't have to. Yeah. We just want you to try it out. Give yes. it a whirl. Look how cute as I like you to guys. Look that little bird. And uh, bringing you a little love note from oh, yeah, Kimberbell. For sure. And you know what? I saw that somebody on the Kimberbellas and Fellas last night already posted that they finished this. They oh, my did, oh my goodness. They downloaded oh, I love it yesterday. It. They finished it. They used the, the, just such cute fabric. It looks darling. There you go. That tells oh, you how easy and simple it is. Yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. give it a give it a whirl. Try it out. The other background quilt, well, background quilting is a, a separate purchase. Right. The other designs are a separate purchase. Like we said, you can buy it as a bundle or but as they're individuals. They're on sale right now. We're yeah. making it so easy. But this this is, is free. free. So <gasps> check it out. Yes. It comes in the two sizes, of course, just like the others. There you go. Oh what do you goodness. think? You guys. Do, do you want this. to start making yes, that? Yes, yes. Absolutely. absolutely. You know what? Just take the rest of the day off. It's I'm, good. Oh, good. Yes, okay. We could. Okay. Mm -hmm. awesome. See you later. <laughs> this we're we're going to go now. This is the greatest gift. Yeah. I have a daughter that's getting married. <gasps> yes, she you do. She's oh, getting sweet. a fun oh, little gift. That yeah. would be so cute. Well, I mentioned yesterday on What's New Wednesday, if you want to gift these, give yourself a little break. Yes. <laughs> and only make one of them for yes. the new year. Oh, and then a add a little gift. note to that gift that says, now you're going to get these for every month or season or, you know, however mm -hmm. often you want to do this for them. Maybe the first um, year you could do like and, a quarterly and then, you know, yeah, add to it over the years. I mean, add to it. So, you know, give yourself some Love grace it. there yes. and just make one before for Christmas, but then you give them the pillow. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> give them the pillow form. Give them the pillow itself with the buttons, and then now they have just a cute little quick oh. gift uh, that they'll receive in the mail. And you know, however yes. often you want to do it. So I, there you I have a sister-in-law that instead of doing a big Christmas gift for her yeah. kids and grandkids, that's what she does. Is she does a monthly gift to them because several of them <gasps> don't live in the valley. And so, idea. and they I love, love getting something in the mail, mail right? So cute. Oh, this would be idea. such a fun idea I to add to it. that. Yep. All right. So with um, that being said, like I mentioned earlier, we did the background quilting first and you do it as an all over background quilting design um, on a larger piece of fabric. And then you're going to cut it down to the size that you need for this. And I use clear blue tiles to help me out. So let's go ahead and take a look at part two of this project. Now, one other thing to note before we get started is that just like any of Kimberbell's patterns, the background quilting is optional. So that is a separate purchase at Kimberbell.com if you're interested. But what's great about it is that because you are downloading these background quilting designs for clear blue tiles or block by block quilting, you're going to get them in all the sizes. So sizes beyond just even what these projects can do, you can use them for so many different things. So just note that I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do the background quilting with clear blue tiles and then we're going to put the design on top and then even on the embroidery machine we're going to do our buttonholes so that it attaches really easily to the pillow. Let's go ahead and get started. Now as I'm looking at my instructions here there's a few things I want to point out. First of all you're going to have two different design file sizes. There's a 9 by 9 panel and then there is a 12 by 12 panel. Now you can decide which one you're going to use obviously. I'm going to do the larger one but no matter which size you choose there are options for multiple hooping so that if you do have a smaller hoop you can still do these panels. Another thing to know is that 
there are two different types of stabilizer that are being listed. The first one is to use a heavy cutaway stabilizer if you are not quilting your panel. See, it says an unquilted panel. But if you are going to quilt your panel using clear blue tiles in our quilting system, then you're going to use a light mesh cutaway stabilizer. So I am going to quilt the panel. I'm gonna show you how I do that with clear blue tiles. And because I'm doing it that way, I actually am going to opt for the light mesh cutaway stabilizer. Now I wanna turn the page to page six and notice here at the top that it describes that this is a five part project and these are the parts that you would go through if you were not quilting. But I am going to quilt this background first. So I'm gonna pay attention to what it says here about Clara Blue Tiles quilting instructions. And notice that it says to quilt the entire background fabric before adding the applique embroidery. Okay, so let's notice a few things. First of all, it's saying that the background fabric needs to be cut at 14 and a half by 14 and a half inches. It says the back fabric needs to be cut at 12 and a half by 12 and a half inches. So if I'm looking at this as our example, of course, this is the 14 and a half inch block um, for the front. The backing fabric is what you're seeing here, and that's a little bit smaller at 12 and a half by 12 and a half inches. But notice that this is quilted on the front, but not quite quilted all the way through the back. And there's a reason for that, and you'll see it a little bit later. As you can see here, I've got my front fabric, my 14 and a half by 14 and a half inch piece. I've got my back fabric, which is a 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch piece. But remember, I want to actually quilt my front first. So I'm actually gonna just toss this backing piece aside. We're gonna use it a little bit later. Now, to quilt this from the front, um, I'm, I've made my quilt sandwich. So I have my uh, top piece at 14 half inch square. Then I made my project batting just one inch larger. So that is about 15 and a half inch square. And then for my quote unquote backing piece, instead of fabric, I'm actually going to use light mesh cutaway stabilizer so that I can make this as a quilt sandwich, mark it with my clear blue tiles, and then quilt the entire front. And then I can find the center to place uh, the applique on top. Okay, so that's oh, it goodness. so far. Yeah. We've got one more part to go. Yes. But I thought this would be the perfect time to talk a little bit more about something that you're going to see in the next segment, okay. and that is to answer this question. So if you've ever had this issue, let us know because we've got the perfect answer for you. All right, solution. we've got a great, we solution. Do have a great solution. Have you ever tried to hoop something where it didn't fit all the way across the hoop? Meaning oh, you yes. had some gaps, yes. right? Yes, yes. And it's so tricky and you get frustrated. Right, and so when we do background quilting with a quilt sandwich, like we're showing in this video and that we're about to show again, um, you want to have your three layers, but sometimes right. those layers don't Aren't reach all the way across. Right. So we've got a very simple solution for you. Um, this is kind of like what I'm talking about. Say this was your center piece of fabric. This is the fabric that you wanted to quilt. Right. Look what happens when I go to put that on my hoop. Oh goodness. Right? It's nothing not fitting. There's nothing to hold on to it, right? And so we have a, a tip for that. Friends, this is why we <laughs> save our scraps. Yes. yes! Whether you can use stabilizer scraps, you can use fabric scraps, but this is why we hold on to these, is for just this occasion. Well, I, I have a, a, a little bin full of my stabilizer scraps right. for this reason, because what you're gonna see in the next part is that I actually do end up taking those scraps, and in particular, I think I took the stabilizer ones, and I just try to attach it to the ends and keep it nice and taut. So, yes. to attach it, here's, Here's what it might look like. Now I know it looks a little funny right now, right. but do you see but what's happening here? Done. Oh, it's gonna when you totally go to hoop that. And we're cutting this centerpiece down to size anyway, so what, how yes. it's stitched together doesn't matter ultimately, right? right? Exactly. So I just overlap these. Can we get a real close look on that? 
Um, I just overlap these about, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch. You can kind yeah. of see that right there. And just did a quick zigzag. Again, just to keep it nice and taut. There's no give to yeah. it. Um, and so that's yeah. going to help stabilize your entire front piece of fabric. Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So with fantastic. clear blue tiles quilting, we normally would use just a regular fabric as that third piece. Mm -hmm. But as you can see in uh, that video, we are using stabilizer in this case um, because the actual backing the true backing of this design is going to come on a little bit later right yeah nice. so that's Perfect. our little tip for today we hope it Great helps you let's go ahead and see how this all finishes off with part three of this video You guys, this is so, so cute. Now remember, because you use clear blue tiles, you can use any combination of uh, tile sizes to get the same exact look as I'm doing here with even larger tiles. So whether you have large tiles or small tiles, you're still at the end gonna have the same great look of all over quilting. And boy, is it cute. Let's go ahead and do our second hooping. Now you might remember, I actually used two different clear blue tiles sizes. I used a six by 14 and an eight by 14. So be sure when you go to load your next design for the background quilting, you load the right size. In this case, it's gonna be the eight by 14. All right, so I'm done quilting the entire background. Isn't that fantastic? With the clear blue tile system, you can't tell where it starts, where it ends. It just all flows together, which I love. Now to get out those blue marks, you're just gonna spray it with a few spritz of water. Um, if you have any issues with getting them out, then just soak it a little bit longer, but they will come out. And then I'm ready to applique my design, the, the February 14th design on top. So now that I have that background quilted, you might be asking, well, how do I now hoop this to get it centered? Well, it's really simple. All I'm gonna do is actually fold this into force so that I can find the center point of this. And then I'm gonna hoop this quilted sandwich, so to speak. Now remember, 
I haven't put the backing on it yet. Remember this 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch piece? Don't worry about it quite yet. That's not gonna come till a little bit later. So right now, you're just hooping the quilted sandwich of the front fabric and your project batting. And then, yeah, the stabilizer is on the back for this particular one. All right, we'll hoop that, we'll find the center, and then we'll put our design on top and go through the whole applique process of stitching February 14th. Let's go. Now, because I actually did the background quilting with clear blue tiles, as noted up here in the corner of page six, notice that it says after you quilt that entire background, which we just did, to go to the embroidery instructions themselves. Now, the embroidery instructions actually start, scroll down here a little bit, um, on actually step number seven, where we are stitching the step uh, for the one placement line, and then we'll go through the applique steps. The reason why we skipped all of these parts, well, steps one through six is actually happening if you weren't doing background quilting. But again, because we chose to do background quilting, we're just gonna skip right ahead to that first step of doing the placement line. Let's go. Look at all these fun designs ahead for me. I'm so excited. This is the one I'm actually gonna choose though, February 14th. And just remember that even though I'm doing the largest size all in one single hooping, we do, do give you instructions on how to do it in multiple hoopings should you have a smaller hoop. So let's go ahead and start with the nine by 14 size. Okay, so there you go. Continue those steps as outlined in the PDF. And before you know it, you're gonna have your backing on, you're gonna have your buttonholes done, and then you're ready to switch out these interchangeable panels on your pillow. It is so much fun and oh so easy. So what started out as the uh, 25th of December then became the 1st of January to celebrate the new year. And then finally, yep, we did it. It's February 14th. I can't wait to place this on my bench. Bella. Bella. Oh, hey. Hi. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the other designs in this set called Save the Date. You can download them as individual designs or save a little bit of money and download them all in a bundle. But don't forget, February 14th, it's free. Have a whole lot of fun.
there. What do you want to do with these designs? Because of course it can be used way beyond just, just the pillow the panels, right? Yes. I know. My mind is already whirling and twirling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell us in the comments what you think because yeah. we want to find out from you yeah. what, where else can you see using design. these designs? Yeah. What do you guys think? I thought this Christmas one would be so cute on Christmas pajamas. <gasps> Yes! Oh, how about the bum? Yeah, that I know. <laughs> a little flat. A little flat. Like, yeah, right. Andrew's like, oh, I yeah. like that. That yeah. sounds good to me. Yeah, that's a cute idea. This okay. one would be so fun. You know how like families all dress alike on the 4th of July at the <gasps> parade? Lots of family reunions oh, and stuff going on. Yeah, wouldn't that be so fun to put on yeah. like a t-shirt or something and you know, all the little grandkids in matching yes. shirts would I be love fun. It. Yeah. Here's a, a St. Patrick's Day one. I think, you know what, this has to be a second runner up for me because yes. this is definitely one of my favorites. I love how there's the little hat Hats. at the end. I know. So but cute. I'm thinking I could put this, you know, into a maybe a little wall hanging. That would be oh, so that would be cute. really fun. Right? Too. Yes. And then, you know, for our friends in Canada, like I we love did the remember antlers. you. So I'm going to have to make one of those, even though I don't. <laughs> do you have a friend in Canada? I do have a friend in okay. Canada. Okay, so there you go. You can make uh, her those that. Those little antlers are so and cute. And then the maple so leaf. Fun. And then how about this Hanukkah, Hanukkah. one? So yes. cool. I've got several friends that celebrate Hanukkah. Yes. I'm thinking this this is it. Got to do it. Right? So fun. Thanksgiving, of course. What about That'd be some cute kind on of a table, table runner? runner. Yes. yes. Or Jinx. Jinx. Right? <laughs> napkins. This oh, would be yeah. a perfect size for a napkin. Oh, that would be Even so like a cute. bread basket liner or something. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. Go on and and on. then we've got January 1st. You name it. Caitlin, what are people saying? How are they going to use these a little bit differently? Betty Jo says that she, since you have the numbers, you could easily do a birthday pillow panel. <gasps> yes. So great. Yes. Yes. I love okay. that. I love that. Another says, would love to use this for first day of school designs to put on shirts. Oh, oh cute. Yes. Uh -huh. Very fun. Uh huh. And little quilts on a hanger instead of putting it on a pillow, per se. Oh, yes, yeah. Exactly. You know those little tabletop Hanging hangers? Quilts. That would yep. be perfect. It's so cute. I know yesterday someone mentioned they want to take all of them and put them into one large quilt. Ooh, oh, that that's a great fun. idea. I, I like that. a quilt for yeah, all, year, all year, long. year long. I thought that was a great idea. Also really cute. And then, of course, mm. if you have other ideas for these panels, we'd love to hear. Yes. yes. So, because, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg, right? This is, exactly. Yes. And, and Jasmine, this is just where the you know, fun starts. There, she'll, she'll start taking notes and yep. start designing <laughs> because I think there's a lot of really fun oh. Reasons and seasons, I like to exactly. say, celebrate. Uh, to celebrate and make these. Again, Absolutely. it's a download, so you can do it today. Immediately. Get it. started. Get that free one. Get the free one. Oh. You name it. Oh, my goodness. You know, one more thing I want to note on that last video. You may have seen me add some extra stabilizer to the ends to reach from one side to the next. And earlier I mentioned to sew it so it's nice and taut. But you could try, you could try over overlapping it. My word of caution for that is just make sure it's nice and taut. Yep. It worked well for me in that case, but honestly, if I were to do that again and again, I would keep to the old standby of sewing your strips just together to first, sure. just to make sure. Too. So anyway, awesome. just want to make sure and mention that. Awesome. Yes. All right. Love it. Yeah. Oh my oh. goodness. Can you believe we are at the oh. end of 2023? So I to can't. No. You know, we've done a few months ago when we came back on track and started yeah. this program weekly, it seemed like so far away. Yeah, <laughs> and now we're And here, here. we are. Yeah. We blinked and we're here. Yeah, <laughs> we're ready for our little holiday break. Yes, yeah. we are. We and then are. we'll be sure to come back in 2024. Maybe, yes. you know, we'll, we'll, we're gonna kind of, you know. We're going back to the drawing board for a minute. Reevaluate and see, you yes. know, how exactly this is Let us know some of the favorite often. things that you've liked or what you would like to see in the future. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is a great time to get those comments and yeah. ideas. We're going to be meeting again and yeah. discussing yeah. how this should go how in the future. How to make it the best for you, for yes. sure. So share. Yeah. So, you know, before we leave, though, it, we have to share a special heartfelt message um, mm -hmm. from all of us at Kimberbell to you. Uh, yes. Many of you may have already seen this video, but we want to show it just that one more time to wish you all the best of happy holly holidays and Merry Christmases and all the things. Yes. Um, because during this time of the year, I think it's, 
you know, it can be tough for mm -hmm. a lot yeah. of us. Yeah. Um, it can be really sweet and special um, in many ways, and it can also be difficult. Um, but we want at Kimberbell to share our hearts with all of you um, what, about what the joy of creativity is all about, how yeah. spreading kindness and love and sharing our gifts and talents with others can bless not only our lives, but other people too. The amazing team at Kimberbell made this happen. As we close today, let's go ahead and watch that special video message. I made this for you. We have hot chocolate. Do you want to come in? Yes, I think I would like that. what life so is all sweet. about yes so, so awesome every time i watch it it <sighs> just gets me i know but you know what i'm going to surprise a few people here today oh there's a few people that made this video happen and they don't yes. know this, but they're going to be on camera right now, if possible. Oh. <laughs> uh, we've got to welcome four really special people. They're in the background going, are you okay? <laughs> That's so cute. But oh. I could not end this, this but, message uh, no. without, without a big hand, round yes. of applause to Andrew and Dallin. Can you please come up here? I know they're I know, behind just the leave scenes the cameras. doing the video. I hope we can be okay with all this. And Shay, come on in. And Jasmine. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad they were here this Me morning. Me too. Because they didn't They're know. They're the ones that deserve yeah, the credit. I was going, going to do this. Yeah, come on come in. in. But come if in. we could give all the love to oh, these amazing people that 
that just make us look so, so good, right? Yes, yes. they do. Um, Put all the hard work and effort. Guys, yeah, yes, yes, it's these guys. Make it possible. I mean, I don't even, I'm you almost afraid Look, you guys look like, like you dress for family see pictures. You get, look at you. Good job. <laughs> but we've got Andrew here. And, you know, this guy, let me just give a, li a few uh, little strokes to you here. But he is, of course, the sense of humor around here. We love Andrew. He always makes us laugh. But he also has a heart of gold. He's yes. the one that created sure. the concept and the script. Andrew, way to go. Did you film some of that as well? I did, yeah. Okay, oh, so you filmed <laughs> all of it. <laughs> all of it. Okay. Um, Dallin. Awesome. He's also, yes. you know, he's him and Andrew Mann work side by side mm -hmm. every day. And you did the editing on this video, correct? Oh, yes. The mu yes. He picked the music. And he did the editing. And our save the date. Oh, Could my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And then Jasmine's our art director here at Kimberbell. And she makes sure the message is on point <laughs> yes. all the time, right? Yes. <laughs> Jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> you see. Anything beautiful and lovely and just so amazing out mm -hmm. from Kimberbell, she probably had a whole lot to yes, do with that. Absolutely. Um, and especially in, you know, this is her team mm -hmm. too. And so they, she certainly led the charge on such an amazing video. And then we've got... Shay, beautiful Shay here, all sparkly Shay, <laughs> you know. She's um, always camera ready. She, she is. is. <laughs> she is. <laughs> and she does, you know, she's looking for the talent that stars in our videos. She's doing the set design, the costuming, you name it. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind mm -hmm. the scenes to make a, a simple thing three minute video like that and so many others that we do happen and Shay is the one that is doing it. So you guys, did I miss any of the things that you did? I'm sure I did and I'm sure there might be people I missed too but you four are here and you really are just rock solid in what you do here at Kimberbell and I could not let this episode end without thanking you yes. and having Thanks, everyone Grace. else thank, thank you, you yeah. too. So chime in in the comments, let us know, um, you know, how you feel about these guys yeah. because we think yes. they're pretty awesome. We love them. We do. We should mention we are working on the next one. <laughs> oh! Okay. There you go. Little little teaser. Teaser. I'm not even sure I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. This is how good they are. That's right. Oh my gosh. So from all of us here at Kimberbell and everyone else behind the scenes, Happy holidays, yes. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in 2024. Until then, keep doing what you love and keep experiencing the joy of creativity. Bye-bye. Get back to work now. <laughs>